Um, welcome back all. Um, today we're going to go over bringing our armor clothing back into Character Creator 3. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, the first method is directly from ZBrush into Character Creator, um, which I'll show you that now. Um, the second one is um, using the FBX, bringing it all in through 3D Exchange into iClone and then over into Character Creator 3, which is the way I prefer it because uh, it just does it all together and uh, that's how I've been doing it for a while before um, Character Creator 3 and GOS. Um, so what we need is your project open in uh, ZBrush and then we also need uh, your project open in Character Creator. Um, so what we'll do here is with your project open in Character Creator, this is the project we start off with right at the beginning that we sent uh, through to Goz. Um, yeah, to import them all in uh, via Goz, uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, the ones we have selected are the ones that want to come in. We don't want uh, this APOs come in, so we've unselected that. Uh, if we go to GOS, we just click uh, click on GOS Visible. Now, your GOS Visible will send that over to Character Creator 3. Um, it will uh, ask them all to be uh, cloth. I want them all to be accessories. Uh, this way, it'll allow me to move them before I turn them into cloth. And then uh, that way, I can manually add the skin weights after adding some skin weights to them. Uh, so. Um, accessory, 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 accessory. Uh, we want to calm them in as oh, this A pose here. Or we actually prefer just to come in as the pose that they have. Um, but let's uh, update that and bring them all in. Um, that will bring them all in, and that's all in the right spot, except for they are too far forward slightly. Uh, now, uh, you can't go and move them as a whole, which uh, is something that I do not like, um, because then that way we would have to go and um, we have to go through and manually uh, go down and check the uh, that in the middle and you know, manually align them all back up again. Uh, the other thing I don't like about uh, bring it in this way through uh, ZBrush is, I'm not sure, there, there may be a feature, I, I could have missed it, but uh, it brings them in as traditional, opposed to PBR, so we'd have to go through and manually change them to PBR, and we also have to go through and manually add the uh, two-sided to them. So if you look at the helmet, uh, it doesn't have the two-sided mesh there, you go through and add the two-sided mesh, and it adds it there. Um, that's one reason I don't like doing it through uh, just from GOS, and I prefer doing it uh, the other way, which I'm about to show you through um, 3D Exchange. So the other, the way I do it is I grab my character and send the character to uh, iClone. I open up my 3D Exchange, and in my models, I import my F FBX into uh, 3D Exchange. Um, now, through here, I can create all of these into, uh, just make them all subprops. Now that they are all subprops, uh, let's apply that to iClone. Let's go to iClone. Uh, now that it is in iClone, um, well, in iClone as well, we want to make sure that that character has the correct pose that we are using. The pose I'm using is uh, this one, I think. Yep, that's the one. So I'm going to just grab that pose and give it to my character in iClone. So now with that there, if you look, it is just, it's on him perfectly. So what we need to do here now is if we go to the uh, the props, we can uh, click on all of the, select all of these, um, 
go to the modify and detach all and then uh, delete the temp file B that came in on the top and go through and grab all of them again and attach to the character base. Now we have them all um, on there and all in the correct order and the correct spot and position. Uh, we're going to just uh, send this into character creator. Uh, so in the modify tab, edit in character creator, uh, open up character creator. I would like to discard let's say this project. Um, uh, no, we don't need to save it. Um, so we want to replace all. So there's a new way of um, the way the character creator does this. I'm just getting used to the new features. Okay, um, once that has uh, updated and imported in, we have our character. Uh, right here. Now we have all the clothes on there as accessories and they're imported in and all in the correct position. Um, what I'm going to do is grab the um, and, and they all come in as PBR as well. The other way they came in as a sub, uh, um, traditional uh, this way they're all PBR and they already have their material names on them. Uh, like I said, this doing it through 3D Exchange uh, is a lot easier because I didn't have to manually move things and I didn't have to go through and manually edit the naming structure of the materials. Okay, what are we looking at here for polys? Whole polys for the, for the armor. Uh, 32,662. I've kept that pretty low. Uh, this the, the other thing of working with our low poly uh, is, the, yeah, you get to keep them low rather than the low poly, uh, high poly to low poly uh, workflow. And as you can see, this, this looks great. Uh, also, make sure that when you have that all, oh, all of your uh, mesh comes in as two-sided, which it does, um, and by default when you import it in from ZBrush, it doesn't. So this is another reason why I prefer doing it through GOS, uh, doing it through uh, FBX into uh, 3D Exchange, into iClone, into Character Creator 3. Alright, I also forgot to show you that we can do this manually. We can go through and import uh, accessories through here. Um, what happens when you import them directly in though is that they they come up and they're they're blocked. They're blocked out. Um, they don't have the auto uh, smooth on them. Uh, I'll probably show you with the. Uh, create accessory, the uh, Templar robe, and make sure that I'll display this one a bit better. So the Templar robe comes in, you'll see that it's all it's all blocky. Um, now, it's fine if you want a blocked out pixelated um, object. And to fix this, you can go to modify. Uh, edit normals. And you can um, auto smooth to 45. Uh, that will will auto smooth them, but sometimes you still get there's a you'll see the seam issue. There's a, there's you see the seams there. Um, yeah, the, this just adds extra work to. You don't want to import them that way. You can import them directly from Goz or through 3D Exchange. If you do it this way, uh, that's the, how you'll have to go through and um, just change them, change that to edit, um, edit the normals, and uh, just hit that auto smooth. Uh, that, that will smooth them out, but um, sometimes it doesn't doesn't work that great. But it's working fine there. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's that's an extra third way of uh, importing things in. Uh, you'll have to import them in um, as accessories first, and then that way you can move them around into the position you want them to be in, and then from there you'll be able to uh, convert them into clothes. Um, 
that's it for the video. Uh, next video, I will be adding the materials, and then we'll go through the uh, the workflow of uh, adding the materials, then adding the skin weights to uh, make sure that everything is moving correctly, um, and then editing the weight maps for the uh, dangly bits that will be flowing. Um, so I'll see you in the next uh, video, guys.